and road construction in the heart of Wichita. It is changing the way thousands of drivers get around each day, and it's causing headaches for some travelers and some people who live nearby. And some people who live next to the Amadon Bridge Project say drivers are speeding through their neighborhood. Case and Samantha Boring joins us live near the construction with that story tonight. Samantha. Emily, Jeff, the neighborhood just east of the bridge is seeing more traffic. Some neighbors tell me that they are happy the bridge is being updated, but others are not excited about the increase in traffic. Some even calling it out of control. We knew it was coming. We knew people were going to be cutting through neighborhoods. As construction continues on the Amadon Bridge, neighborhood traffic has gotten busier. Ron Gross, who lives near the bridge, says the speeding by his house always concerned him. Now notice that not only is the speed uh, still an issue, but now there's more traffic. The city is aware of the issues. Before the project even started, city engineers tracked traffic in the area. Since construction started, engineers say traffic has increased in some parts by 20%. Other streets are even busier. If you look at the area of 20th and Woodrow, we saw almost a 50% increase in traffic from prior to the bridge being closed. The city says currently none of the data is alarming to bring in traffic calming measures, but if an area does see new issues, engineers will work to make changes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wichita police put up traffic trailers and are enforcing the speed limit. There are some speeders. You'll see a few people in some areas going 60 mile an hour, unfortunately, but that, that happens all the time. That was going on before the bridge was closed. <laughs> The busiest areas are mostly congested during the mornings and late afternoons. Gross says he avoids the intersection near Woodrow and 21st Street during that time. There's a big, huge bottleneck of traffic almost every day. The city says it understands the neighbors' concerns, but says there's not much else it can do to keep drivers away. I reached out to the Wichita Police Department to get their take on the traffic safety in the area. Nobody was available to talk with us today. The bridge should be open to drivers December of next year, and it will be fully finished in spring 2024. Here for you in Wichita, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.